All right, let I, me hear from you. It, it, is there a name? Is there a name to this picture? It is this right there at the top. Okay. Without hope, nineteen forty-five. Without hope. I think. I, I think the blood moon, it means there's very little hope. Oh, hope. you think that's a blood moon too. And and, and then and then the and then the tiny moon in the very back means very little hope. Okay, that's very interesting. One is that's okay. One is the blood moon is lots of hope, the small moon is little hope. Okay, I like that. that's very um, interesting. Okay, go I, ahead. Can I like I'm I'm gonna say something about that actually. Say it I, again. Think that the, I think that would that the blood moon would be all the problems. Mm, mm -hmm. All the small little moon would probably be like the moon the small amount of hope that you do have. Yes. That's just being stashed away. Mm, yes, yes. Okay. Mommy? Yes. First thing first, looking at this picture is like looking at a toilet. <laughs> it does not look good. Why do you say it looks like a toilet? Is that, is that a human skull in there? Yes, it is. I, but I, I'm really fascinated <laughs> by your thinking it looks like a human toilet. I know it sounds disgusting, but talk to me about that. Because it, oh, it just built with such disgusting things like a dead animal husk that's dripping out of a tube that's going into the woman's mouth. Yeah. Yeah. So why would she make it? Okay, let's say that's let's say what she that's let's say that's what she wanted it to remind you of. A toilet going into her mouth. Well, let me ask you this. Is the toilet going into her mouth or out of her mouth? Into look in the two it's going out. It's going out. It must be going in. All right. Who says going out? Amira. Who says oh, going yeah, I in? Say going out. I say out. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. What makes you feel like it's going in, Amira? Uh, Amira. I said out. Mm. What makes you feel like it's going out, Amira? Because it looks like everything that. Oh. Cause you see, it wouldn't make sense if a tube, if you put all that stuff inside a huge tube, and then have it all go inside your mouth. It looks like she's like spitting it out. Mm, Cause you can see it falling out, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, very interesting. And then interesting. the, and then the, if if it's called a tube, it looks like the stuff that is like falling out of the thing. Okay. Okay. Live. Go ahead. Not about like the tube thing, but. Um, I think that the to, to me the picture kind of it kind of means to me that like so you know how when you you might be sad or have a array of emotions but you don't want to put that but you think that if you tell someone else those emotions you're like bringing them down with you yeah I think that it's basically when you tell someone else your emotions. It's like you have that relief. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, they're actually going to help me. Mm -hmm. And it's like just letting all of that out. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. Anybody else? I ha I also have something. Okay. Like right, so right by, by, by the little moon, um, is that water at the very bottom? That's what I'm wondering, guys. He's talking about, he's talking about this right here. Hold on. This right here is this water, right? Is that right, um, Kingston? Yes. Yes. Okay. He said it looks that like water? a river. Right. What? Where are you going with that, Kingston? That maybe that's also a little bit more, more, more hope with mm. the water. Mm. So you know what? I'm wondering, based on what you all are telling me, I am wondering if I'm gonna draw a line down the middle. If one side, who drawn on my paper? I, I was gonna say something, but um, the rock. I'm, I was looking at the rocks, and it's like the water. There's very little water. It just mm -hmm. dry land. So like, basically, yeah. all her pictures are about her suffering. Most of them. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 
If I were to draw a line down the middle, one side, based on what you all are telling me, one side could be hope and the other side is what? Death. Death. And no hope. Mm, death and no hope. Okay. So let's go with that. If one side, this is, I'm just, this is not what, I'm not saying whether I agree or disagree with you. I'm trying to kind of scaffold your thoughts here. Okay. Scaffold means to kind of collect them and formulate them into question. something. Yes, ma'am. What, um, what is this? I right. drew a circle. What is that? I don't know. It looks like some type of meat. It shouldn't. Um, okay. okay so here's the thing listen to this so somebody, oh. wrote, somebody wrote valley of death over here so let me ask you this which direction if we have sides what direction do you think land of hope thank you dylan very nice okay i like these labels very nice labels okay so where does she fall in this what do you think she's saying this picture because this is her in the picture. How do you think she sees herself in this picture? In the land of hope or in the valley of death? In both. 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 Go ahead, Aria. And in it's hard solid. Hmm. I froze it for the for, from hmm. Wednesday to this yellow. I put it in the freezer. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is figure out what she's talking about. So basically I know what she's kind of talking about. Well, okay, wondering. so. Okay, go ahead. So you know how Dylan picked the land of hope and someone picked the valley of death? Mm -hmm. I think he's like saying that her life was basically in the land of hope and then started out in the valley of, and then ended out in oh. the valley of death. Oh, girl, yes. <laughs> girl, break that down. Go ahead, Aria. So do you all understand what Aria is saying? Yeah, like her life started out well, but then at the end, it um, started, it <gasps> ended bad. So now this thing in her mouth, where do you think that fits into this concept that we're talking about here that she was in between the valley, the land of hope or the valley of death, but it seems like she's headed into the valley of death. This stuff that's coming out of her mouth or going into her mouth, I don't know if we've decided that yet. Where is all of that pointed? Probably, she's, learned, she's probably going to miss Earth. So, there's lots. lots, lots, lots. lots. Say it again. Oh, it looks like it's rotting. It looks like it's rotting. It doesn't look like, it doesn't look like a very wholesome meal. Yeah, somebody needs to mute themselves while they're not talking. It's not wholesome. Where, what direction is it in? Okay, y'all cut out with the drawing. We, we get it. We get your point. What direction do you think the, 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 the crap is headed? Or how can we make this fit what we're talking about? we got the land of hope, the valley of death, she started out in the land of hope. She's headed to the valley of death. What does that have to do with this stuff? I think that the stuff is like everything that's like been in her because she's heading to the valley of death. So like, ah. okay. So, okay. Now, now hold on a second. Hold on a second, Destin. I know you are not spam chatting in my class. Sir, I need you to focus on the lesson. Okay, I'm sorry. Zayana talked about, um, I think the water could be peace, but go ahead and continue, Zayana. Uh, I was saying how um, now I'm kind of confused as to if the stuff is going in or out because if it's going in, then that could be how the stuff from the Valley of Death is going inside of her, which is making her go into the Valley of Death. Mm -hmm. Or it comes out, which they can go more towards learning of hope. But if it's both, then that could just be right in the middle. Right. Now, Destin has something in the chat, but I need you to use your words because your mic works very well, sir. I need you to be engaged. Would you like to tell us your thoughts? 
think she's kind of in the middle. You think she's in the middle? Why do you say? Because the Valley of Death. Because the Valley of Death and Land of Hope, she's like in between both of them. Yeah, and actually in the chat, you said it's like she's going in and out. Are you saying going in and out? That she's going in and out of the Land of Hope and the Valley of Death? Or were you referring to the stuff in her mouth? I was referring to the stuff in her mouth. Okay. So Destin thinks that she's in between the land of hope and the valley of death. That's possible. Do you think this, this place, land of hope, valley of death, is about life while she's alive or life after? This picture, is this talking about now while she's alive or after death? I think it's after death. death. Yeah. I think it's alive. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's alive because I think it's um showing all the coolness that happened. So what? Mute oh, no. yourself if you're not talking. Yes, yes. Okay. So maybe as maybe as Destin's saying, she throughout her life, she going back and forth between the Valley of Death and Land of Hope. Watch this. And could we say? That this thing coming out of her mouth is sometimes she feels like the, all the badness is being poured into her. And then the other times she feels like she can get it out of her. So everything is in and out. Like there's two moons. There's a, there's a blood moon and the regular moon. There's the side with the water, the side with the desert. Like it seems like everything is kind of up in the air. There's no definite thing. I think it's so cool how whenever she does a painting, she doesn't really explain it, explain it. She's mm -hmm. just like letting us explain it in our own mm -hmm. way. Yeah. Andrew, I have not heard anything from you. Do you have any thoughts on the painting? Um. She, there's a, there's a sheep in there and, um, And the um, I don't. I just don't like it. <laughs> and that's okay. Why don't you like it? I'm not laughing at you. I'm saying I'm. I appreciate your very simple comment. Why don't you like it? Because it looks like there's uh, there's organs in there. It does. It does. Um. Why do you think she's doing that, though? Why do you think the painting is such a bitter painting? Um, Why do you think she's made it so negative? Oh, um... Because there's a lot of dead stuff in there. Okay. You know, and you know what? That's a good point. But he's saying, Andrew has said that there's a lot of dead stuff in the painting, which kind of represents her life, right? Um, I have a question. Sure, Zayana. I have an idea. Okay. For next class, can we just like paint our feelings? <laughs> Not an art class. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. I Painting, I don't like painting. It make my desk even messier. But right. why don't you go, listen, how about this? Why don't you go to art studio with Miss Claudina where you can pretend like you're Frida Kahlo and you can paint or draw something that expresses your feelings. And then we can begin class next week with you sharing your pictures with me. What? Does everybody have to do it? Yeah. It is optional. Or should we make it optional or required? Optional. Um, I think it can be optional. 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 Because, no, I think it should be optional because this class is not based on art and stuff. So I yeah. think people should have the freedom to choose if they want to do it or not. Okay. So but I, I, I'm not is there anyone who would like to go to art studio on Thursday? And to pretend like you are Frida Kahlo, I will let Miss Claudina know that some of my literature students will be coming into art studio next week. 
and, and you will, there anyway. Yeah, and you all will find a way to express yourselves. Will you share your paintings with me next Monday? Yes. yes. Okay, that'll yep. be great. Guys, that is all for today. Have a good afternoon, everyone. Bye. Bye.